guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be another foundation review. I'm gonna be reviewing and doing a wear test on the brand new YSL All Hours Foundation. This is a full coverage matte foundation and it's really good for oily skin, which I do have if you guys are new here. I have very oily skin, especially right down my T-zone. And it's very, very hard for me to find foundations that will actually hold up with my oily skin. I've tried just about every foundation under the sun and it's just a challenge to find a good foundation for me. I also have sensitive skin and acne prone skin just for a little bit of a background on my skin so I'm gonna be doing this foundation review just like all my other foundation reviews I'm gonna be doing a 10 hour wear test and see how it's holding up on my skin so I think that's all I have to say so if you guys aren't already then I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel so if you guys are interested in seeing how this super expensive foundation works then just keep on watching okay so this is what the foundation looks like when it comes in the package I haven't even opened this yet and I ordered this online so hopefully the shade matches me. I have the shade B40 Sand and this is what the foundation looks like. I'm loving this packaging. It has a beautiful frosted glass package with a black stripe going down the side of it, which I think looks really classy. This foundation is $58, which is very expensive. So I have pretty high hopes for this foundation since it was so expensive. They also came up with 22 shades for this foundation, which is pretty good, but they could expand their shade range for sure. So basically it just says that this is a full coverage foundation that lasts up to 24 hours. It has a flawless matte finish and it is oil free. It's supposed to instantly blur your pores. It says it's supposed to instantly blur your pores and fine lines and provide uninterrupted flawless wear that looks and feels just applied all day long. The formula won't cake, dry, flake, or fade. It's also transfer proof, oil free, and non-pore clogging. Okay, wow, so it sounds like it's gonna be pretty amazing. Okay, so let's get into trying this out. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender for half my face and then my favorite brush for the other half. I'm also going to be applying my favorite primer on only half of my face. The primer that I'm gonna be using is the Canon Austin and mattifying primer, which I use basically every day. It blurs out my pores so much and just makes my skin look and feel super soft and it also keeps me really matte. So I'm only gonna be putting this on this side of my face just so that we can see how this foundation is gonna perform with a primer. And just in case you're somebody that doesn't like to use a primer, which there's totally nothing wrong with that. I know a ton of people don't use primers. So we can also see how this foundation is gonna perform by itself. All right, now I'm gonna take the foundation. I'm gonna use a beauty blender first. I put like one and a half pumps on the back of my hand and we're just gonna dot this in. Okay, so I just used like less than half than what was on the back of my hand. We're gonna use a beauty blender on this side. And again, the shade I got was B40 Sand, if you guys missed it. Well, it's definitely full coverage. It just instantly covered up all of my acne and acne scars and my redness on the side of my face. So that is awesome. And it also looks really, really soft on my face so far. I feel like this is going to be one that's going to crease in my lines because it's already creasing in my smile lines right here. And it also smells like really... It smells like watermelon almost. I don't know what I'm smelling, but I feel like I'm smelling some type of like melon, which by the way, I hate watermelon. I hate musk melon. I hate cantaloupe. So anything that smells like that, I don't like, but it's nothing strong at all. It doesn't have like a really strong fragrance. So it doesn't bother me too much, but this looks really, really good so far. And it's definitely full coverage. Oh my gosh, it looks so soft. Definitely full coverage. I'm loving the finish. It's definitely more of a soft matte than a full matte. So it kind of has a little bit, almost like a satin finish, like a more natural matte, which I really like. And it definitely blurred out my pores. I feel like they look very like airbrushed. So far, I'm really, really liking this. Now I'm gonna go in with the rest that's on my hand and use a brush on the other side. All right, so honestly, it looks about exactly the same. If not, this side might look a little bit softer, but I feel like that's because of the primer that I used. Uh, I feel like my pores look a little bit more blurred out on it this side, and it blended out a lot faster with the brush, so I do think I like using the brush better. By the way, this is a Morphe E31 brush, my all-time favorite foundation brush. I'm gonna zoom you guys in now so you guys can see what it looks like up close. Okay, so this is what the foundation is looking like up close. I feel like it looks very soft, but in my smile lines, it's already starting to crease. 
So I definitely don't like that. But other than that, everywhere else, I think it looks really, really good. It looks very soft. Definitely blurred out my pores. So besides it creasing in my smile lines right here, I do think it looks really good everywhere else. Okay, so I just finished up my makeup and this is what it looks like. I think it looks really, really good right now. It looks very soft. And I'm gonna leave everything down below that I put on my face, like all the makeup that I used, just in case you guys are wondering. But yeah, I think it looks really, really good. The makeup went really nicely over top of it, so it didn't look patchy or anything, like my bronzer, highlight, and blush and everything. So I am super, super impressed so far. I have to go to work now, so I'll probably check in in about three to four hours, show you guys how it's holding up, and then probably like eight hours, and then I'll come back at like 10 hours I'm gonna try to make it at. So I'm gonna zoom you in one last time so you can see what my face is looking like, and then I will see you in a few hours. Okay, I just realized I totally forgot to show you guys my check-in time. So it's 11.56 a.m. right now. I actually finished doing my makeup at about 11.20, and I'm late for work right now. I'm actually supposed to be there in four minutes, so I'm gonna have to cut the camera off, and I will see you guys in a couple hours. Okay, guys, so it is now 2.28 in the afternoon, so it's been about three hours, and I am starting to get a little bit oily, especially right in the corners of my nose and a little bit on my forehead. And I feel like for it only being three hours and I'm already starting to get oily, I feel feel like I'm probably going to be pretty oily by the time it is my 10 hour mark. But yeah, so I can definitely see some of my oils coming through and it's definitely creasing as well. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see what it looks like up close. All right, so this is what it's looking like. It is creasing in my smile lines. I know I showed a clip saying that it stopped creasing once I set it, but it is now creasing again pretty bad, actually. I'm also getting very oily right in the corners of my nose. I feel like that's probably it. It's actually more... Whoa. There's a lot more on this side than there is on this side. This is a side that I used that primer on, by the way. So yeah, there's definitely more oil on this side for sure. And my chin is creasing pretty bad, too. And I feel like it's also starting to look like pretty cakey. Not on this side though. This is the side that I used the primer and I think this side looks way better than this side because I feel like it's starting to look like really textured and bumpy and like cakey right here. I don't know. I swear you guys that primer can make like any foundation look good. But yeah, so it's been three hours. Like I said, it's 2.30 now. So I'll probably come back at like the six or seven hour mark and see how it's looking like then. So I will see you guys then. Okay guys, I'm off work now and I'm back home. It is now 6.27 at night. So we're about seven hours in. I started getting really oily around the four hour mark. So about an hour after I last checked in with you guys. Yeah, I guess it's just been going downhill from there. I'm way more oily on this side. I don't know if you guys are really gonna be able to tell on camera, but I am super oily, especially right here. And this is the side that I used the primer on and it's still looking, I mean, it's still oily but right here is where I notice most of the difference I'm it's like night and day honestly how oily this is compared to how not oily this side is my entire forehead is pretty oily all around and then my chin is pretty oily it's also creasing really bad in my chin and it's starting to look really really cakey in the corners of my nose I also have two pimples right here that it looks really dry over them like it literally enhances the dryness of my pimples a lot and it's not really creasing in my smile lines anymore but honestly I think that's because a lot of it has like rubbed off so it's definitely not transfer proof because anywhere that I've touched like you can totally see I'm gonna zoom you guys in in a second you can totally see like there's no foundation right here and this is where I like rest my hands a lot which I try really hard not to do but it's just something that I can't help also I scratched my nose a little tiny bit right there and the foundation completely came off so yeah it's definitely not transfer proof I think that's all I have to say right now. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you guys can see up close this beautiful mess. <laughs> okay, so this is what it's looking like up close. It looks really bad, actually. Um, it looks super patchy, especially like right here. You can totally see where the foundation came off. And it's extremely oily right there. And it looks really, really cakey right in my nose. My chin looks super cakey and it's creasing really bad right there. Um, so this was the side that I used the primer on. So it is still pretty oily, but nowhere near as oily as it is on this side. I hope you guys are going to be able to tell on camera. 
Also, my pores look a lot smaller on this side than they do on this side, and my face looks a lot more textured on this side. You can also see right here on my nose where I mentioned that I scratched and the foundation just completely came off. Yeah, so this is not looking very attractive right now. What I'm gonna do now, since I am going out to dinner and I really don't want to go out in public with my face this oily, I'm going to try to blot the foundation with the Fenty Beauty blotting powder. This is what I use every time I blot. So I'm just gonna blot all over everything and then see if the foundation transfers or gets like gross and cakey with the blotting powder. So I'm gonna take a Morphe E3 brush and just pick up a little bit of powder. And I'm just gonna press it on everywhere that I get oily, which is basically everywhere. Okay, so that took most of the oil away, but honestly, it's not looking so great where I was really oily. Like in my chin, it still looks pretty cakey and in the sides of my nose. Okay, so here we are up close again. It obviously looks a lot better than it did before, but it looks very cakey now. It looks super cakey, especially around here and in my chin. And yeah, you can definitely see where the foundation is starting to separate and cake up a bunch. But just for the sake of this video, I'm still going to keep it on and finish up my 10 hours. So I will see you guys in a few hours. Okay guys, so it is 11.30 at night now. It's been exactly 12 hours since this foundation has been on my face and it looks disgusting. I cannot believe that I even made it this long without washing my face because I literally feel so gross. It's really, really oily, really, really cakey, like in the corners of my nose, my forehead. It's completely rubbed off from about here down. You can clearly see on camera, it's just, it's all off. There's literally nothing on my chin anymore. Yeah, I mean, it has been a long time, but even when I checked in at like the three hour mark, I was already really oily. So it wouldn't even be worth it for me to wear this foundation again if I'm going to have to be touching up after three hours. And clearly, I mean, you guys could tell that touching up didn't even really do anything. I mean, it took the oil away like right away, but then even after like 30 minutes, I was already really oily again. So touching up really didn't even do much. So there's one more thing that I wanted to add and I wish I would have known this before filming this whole video because I probably honestly wouldn't have even used this foundation if I would have known this and now I'm kind of like beating myself up about it. So I was just looking at the box and looking at the ingredients and everything and I'm sure you guys already know this. I don't know how I didn't know this. Well, mainly because I don't like to watch anybody else's reviews on things before I review them because I don't want it to like alter my thoughts on anything. So I tend to completely stay away from any reviews that I see using products that I want to review just so that I don't like change my mind about things like subconsciously. Well, the third ingredient in this foundation is alcohol. There's denatured alcohol in this and for it to be the third ingredient on the ingredients list is absolutely insane. There is the natured alcohol in quite a few foundations actually, but they're usually like the last ingredient or like the last like three to five, not the third ingredient on the bottle. So that kind of freaks me out a little bit. I don't know why YSL would put that so high up in the ingredients list there. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I cannot believe that they would put that in a foundation, especially like a luxury foundation. That is just so bad for your skin, especially if you're oily like me. That alcohol in the foundation is going to completely strip your skin of the natural oils which ultimately is gonna make your skin wanna produce more oil because from stripping the oil from your skin, your skin is gonna think that it's really dry, which is gonna make it wanna produce more oil. So I understand why they think that that might've been like a good ingredient because it will like keep the foundation matte since it is completely stripping your oils from your face. But long-term, that is just awful for your skin. And I totally know that I should have read the ingredients before filming this video, but I didn't even think about it. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna be returning this foundation. I don't think I'm ever gonna be putting this on my face again. I really did not know that that was an ingredient in this foundation, so that really sucks. Hopefully they can like reformulate this so that isn't in here. Even if, I don't know, the way that it's performing on my face is pretty pathetic to be honest. It's very, very oily and even with my mattifying primer, I'm still so oily. And for this to be aimed towards oily skin, just, I don't know, I must have like extremely oily skin if this doesn't work for me because after I found out about those ingredients, I started researching more and watching people's reviews and everybody else it seems to be working for. So I don't know what's wrong with my skin and why it's not working, but really, really weird. I've seen so many good reviews on this. Definitely a no-go for me, 100% thumbs down. And especially for $58, that's just insane. I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash this off my face 
and go to bed because I am so exhausted right now. So comment down below any foundations that you want me to review. I will review any foundation that you want. Like I said before, I wanna keep this like a weekly thing. I did wanna keep doing these videos on Fridays, but I think I might change it to Wednesdays just because it works a little bit better with my schedule and yeah, so I think I'm gonna start doing these on Wednesdays. But anyway, since I will be doing this once a week, let me know down below any foundations that you want me to review and I will definitely, definitely do that. So I hope this review helped you guys out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.